What you're about to see is an excerpt from the Fronos Photo Guide to building your online presence. Now, if you'd like to watch the full version for free, head on over to fronosphoto.com branding. But for now, enjoy this excerpt. So one of the more important pages on your website should be the about page. What's the information that you're gonna put there? What kind of message are you trying to deliver to whoever is reading your page? These are things that you have to think about when you're putting together an about page. Also, where does the about page show up on your website? Because I've seen websites where the about page is first. I kind of think that the about page and contact and things like that should be the last thing that you see uh, in a toolbar. I just feel that that's where they should be because I want the work to speak for itself before you start telling your story. But it is a place for you to tell your story depending on what type of creative you are. Are you a professional? If you're somebody who's looking to get a job, then you wanna tell a story that's going to help you get a job. If you're an amateur who just loves showing your work, then there's nothing wrong with just saying, hey, I love shooting photos, I love what I do. Here, this page is for you to enjoy and take a look at the work that I have it's really about where you put your message, and that's what the About page is for. And so let's dive into an About page right here. This is Andrew Wilson Photography. I'm gonna zoom in because I'm blind, and I just wanna read it. It says, I am a Liverpool-based a Liverpool -based photographer originally from North Wales. Taking photographs has been, my, uh, has been important to me since I got my first camera at the age of 17. Over time, I have developed my skills and approach to photography. Um, so what I like about this right off the bat, we know that he's a Liverpool-based photographer. We know that he's originally from North Wales, so he covers multiple areas. One of the things you want to be careful about is that you're not pigeonholing yourself just to a specific location. I like to say I'm a, I'm a Liverpool-based photographer. I originally started in Wales. I'm willing to travel around the world to capture different images. You know, just getting the messaging across there is important. I also like that he said I, because there's some websites where people are like, uh, what's this guy's name? His name is Andrew Wilson. Andrew Wilson is originally from Liverpool. It's like, we know this is your website. You're not super important that you're writing about yourself in third person. I don't think third person works for most of the points. I also think it's more personal today. There's a personal reason and a touch that you have when you say, I am into this and I represent that. You know, I've seen a lot of different about pages and, and you've got the ones that have the couples that are shooting weddings. If you're a wedding photographer and you photograph with your husband or your wife, I think it would be a good marketing idea to have a nice photo of both of you there and talking about your family on a personal level. I, we've been married for 20 years. Just somebody getting married, reading the fact that you've been married for 20 years, may put it in the back of their mind that they too can be married for 20 years. They have a 50-50 chance but that's not the point you're trying to book the job. So let's move on here and we'll get to more stuff. As well as shooting with a digital camera, I occasionally use my film camera and have learned how to process and develop my own photos in a darkroom environment, a very enjoyable process that is very different to digital photography. So we're starting to see a little bit. Now, let me, let me uh, go back here. I wanna go into a site and see, I guess we could figure out if he's uh, trying to be a professional or more of an amateur here by just reading. I guess I should continue on. My portfolio showcases some of the best photographs I have taken in the past few years and the type of photos I enjoy taking most. Photos that hint at or tell a story. See, reading this really conveys a great message to me. I love what he's saying here. I'm available to photograph events such as weddings and special occasions. The North West, Northern West is where I'm readily available, but I would be interested in working further afield. That's what I was saying earlier is it's good to do that. You put the option there. You don't pigeonhole yourself into just saying, I only shoot in this area, because somebody may be like, eh, they're across the country. But if the price is right, you can go wherever you want to go. I also offer my photographs uh, as prints for sale. Please feel free to contact me by filling in the form on this page. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Flickr uh, pages and see more of my photographs and contact me through those pages too if you prefer. Thank you for taking the time to look at my site and my photography and I hope to hear from you. See, that's great. He's calling out his social profiles. If, if you're calling out, whether you're, especially like you're a musician, you want people to share out your stuff and, and contact you in different places and become a follower there, you direct them there. I think this is a, a superb about page. You got a nice photo, looks like a, a film shot. Let me get back to full size page here. And, and this is great. 
I really love what he's saying here. He's established himself that he got his first camera at 17. I don't know if he's a full-time professional or an amateur, but it is saying that he will shoot for money. He will take jobs. This page is really good. Uh, then we got this about page. We'll skip talking about most of the website here. What I liked about this is the photo. More so than anything is the photo of this photographer. He's smiling. It shows him holding a camera. He looks like he's having a great time. It, it, it resonates well with somebody looking for a, a prospective photographer to, to hire because they look happy, they look engaged. Like You don't have to put a photo of yourself on the page, but I think you need to put something of you, uh, maybe it's pictures of your cameras, pictures of something of you, maybe it's not you, but it's something, uh, you just have to be careful. I, I, I really think that there should be something on your about page about you. So the about photo could show your location. If you don't wanna be in it, that's, that's fine, but make sure there's a photo there that, that makes people happy. It makes them feel something good so that they would want to hire you. Maybe it's your, say you're a wedding photographer. Maybe it's a picture of your camera sitting on the ground with a wedding veil or wedding flowers. Even that, that that's still about you because they're, it's a photo even though you're not in it. But I think photos are a strong thing to have. Let's go through this. So this is Ash Westwood who doesn't even have an about page. I've gone through the site and there's no about page. It's on the front page. I don't like that. I don't like that it's here and, and nowhere else to be found because I don't think you should punch people in the face with the about page first. Like I've said before, it's about your photographs. And then we've got Michelle D. Photography. So this is a pretty clean page and she talks in first person. Let me see if anybody's talking in third person at all. Let's see, maybe Ash was. Oh yes, Ashley Ash Westwood is a published British Australian photographer. He specializes in capturing moments in live music, gripping action in motorsports and commercial grade automotive portraits for various magazines across the nation. Come take a look. Like, I don't mind that, but hi, my name is Ash Westwood. I love to shoot X, Y, and Z. Really hope you take a look at my site and look at the images. Let me know if you have any questions. Enjoy. I don't really think this is your page. You don't need to third person it. So I'll say that, no third person. So I like to hear about your experience. It's nice to, to lay it out there. Now, if you're a student and you're just starting out, if you're looking to get the gigs, I'm not a big fan of like, I'm currently a student, but looking to become a professional. You don't need to share that information. You can just talk about your love of photography because your age does not matter. You, if you're a videographer, your age doesn't matter. If you're a musician, all that matters is the work that you put out. That's what should speak volumes about what you do. So. So you're trying to convey the message on your site. Now let's see what else she has here. She has my journey. I like to see the journey. It makes you think back, oh, what a cool journey. My experience, okay, we don't need to see there. I like that she wrote what she had. Now that could be a tear sheet page if you want. Um, I'm the house photographer, so and so, and then my gear. Some people fixate on the gear a photographer uses. I get it. Today's access to photography equipment is easier, blah, 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 and then she's listing, but just in case you really, really wanna know, here are the cameras I shoot with. I am not a fan of listing the gear that, does that say Lytro? Oh my God, it has a Lytro on there. Oh boy, oh boy. I didn't even notice that earlier. I don't think anybody would shoot with that, but I guess she is. And that's why it says still experimenting. I don't think this is a place where you put gear. The reason is your gear shouldn't matter. It's the photos that matter. You could have the most expensive cameras and glass and lenses in the world. You could have, you know, you could have that and still not get great images. You let the images speak for themselves, and if somebody asked you, hey, do you have professional gear? Do you have backups for the weddings that you're gonna be coming and shooting? Then you can answer that question. But if you really wanna have gear on your page, there is a place you could hide it. You could make it a part of your blog. And how do you make it part of your blog subtly so that people so that you're not punching people in the face with it, is that you can talk about a photo shoot that you did and the gear that you took along with you to make that image. That's a way that you could hide it in a blog and people can still see what you're using without saying, here's the gear that I use. You're also possibly advertising for people to come and steal your stuff. If you put your address on your website and you're listing all of this fancy gear, you're saying, hi, follow me on social media and know when I'm not home to come knock on my door and then break it down and take my stuff. So I'm not a big fan of putting that there. Also on this about page, it talks about pricing. Let's see. Um, 
It's a common question, how much do you charge? But it's not an easy question to answer because one price does not fit all. When you contact me regarding your photography needs, we'll talk about it. I like this. I like this, but I don't like this. I don't like that her, her name, her email is not linkable and clickable to launch an email or to take you to the contact page to send a message. That's something that you want to make sure that you have right on your page is that you have the, the, the hyperlink there so that somebody could contact you right away. They don't have to copy and paste this somewhere else. Now, pricing, being that it's mentioned here, I'm not a fan of putting pricing public. You can do, if you're shooting weddings, it could say starting at. If you're shooting portraits, it could be starting at. Anything could say starting at, but when you pigeonhole yourself into pricing, you're not giving people the ability, and this is the marketing angle here, is you're not giving them the ability to then email you to inquire. You can make a better sale one-on-one -on -one than somebody's gonna try to sell themselves on, oh, well, that's $3,000, I can't afford that. Well, maybe you could have worked something out with them. So pricing on a page, I know I'm digressing a little bit, shouldn't be there, in my opinion. Um, and one more thing, we're gonna jump over to a couple of my pages. Now, I've got two of them built here. This is who I am. Remember we talked about the Pinterest thing earlier? Having that Pinterest thing on Squarespace pop up and take and make you post that on Pinterest is great because we know that a lot of people use Pinterest, especially for weddings, to get ideas about photos and dresses. And if they're finding your photo and your website, that's a chance for you to get a job. Same thing with music if they're gonna post that as well. So this is one example, it's just plain. We've got a nice image of me. I like it, it's me. We have, a, we have a paragraph here. I'll show you I have a second page that was built as, a, as an example. You see I have a mailing list. That could be also a, contact, a place for contact. My name is there. But I want to show you something here. It says, my goal every time I go out to shoot, oh, I need to reload this. Hold on. The reason I want to reload this, and I'll go over here to do that, it says, my name is Jared Poland. For the last 20 years, I have been capturing images. I want to make a change to that. As you saw on the other page, I didn't have that there. And the reason is that I don't know that the 20 years of experience is a sales pitch there, a sales point. Now, maybe personally, if somebody asks me how long have you been shooting, I can let them know. But I want my story to be told. And so me saying my name is Jared Poland, we know my name is Jared Poland. It's already on the site. It's right everywhere that you need it to be. So if I wanted to quickly change this, and I am on Squarespace here, I just double clicked, and I want to get rid of this and have it go live. Boom, make sure that everything is set right. I hit save, and now that change was made in line. I didn't have to do anything. It's called a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. That's what these pages are all about. That's what these easy website builders are for, uh, so that you can drag and drop and let the websites do the coding and do all of the extra stuff that you know nothing about. I know nothing, Jon Snow, about how to do coding. I know nothing. That, well, I know just a little bit, but I would never code my own. So that's what a WYSIWYG does. And is it the best thing? No, there's pros, there's cons. There's some things that you wish you could do that, that you just can't. But if you are a coder, there's a thing called code injection that you can inject into the Squarespace sites to make your site even better. But I don't want to digress too far down there. That, you know, we, we've talked about what goes on the about page. You can read jaredpoland.com slash about to see what I have written. I think it's important that you tell your story. You convey your message. You talk about what you want to talk about on the page that, that makes people want to know more and want to contact you and feel good. That's why a good image is important. That's why getting the information out, where you're located, what you love to shoot, who you, sh like if you shoot with a family member, I love seeing the, uh, the, the, the husband and wives shoot together. That is definitely a cool sales pitch. So, that's that for the about page. We're gonna roll into something else in just a second. So uh, that's about pages. So I hope you enjoyed that excerpt from the Frontos Photo Guide to Building Your Online Presence. Now, if you'd like to watch the entire guide for free, head on over to frontosphoto.com branding where you can download the entire guide.